Hello friends, I'm back with my latest video showcasing an immensely powerful accounting tool based purely on Microsoft Excel. Fagusha Accounting Pro is amazingly easy to use and is absolutely free to own. Powered by AI algorithms, the software works for you while you concentrate on increasing your business, relieving you of all the tedious bookkeeping activities and analysis. You can download the software for free from the link in the description below. So if you like the video, do share with all your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the action. Fagusha Accounting software comes to you on a Google Drive from where you can download the Excel file and save it to your desired location. Uh, for the sake of, uh, of this video, I have already downloaded and saved the file over here. And uh, in fact, I have opened it as well. So this is how it looks like. Now you can see uh, when the file opens, the whole accounting software gets uh, controlled from this screen itself. You just have these buttons from where each and everything you can control. When you open up for the first time, all these fields are empty. Uh, you can uh, go to the account setup button and then fill up all as per your uh, business details. If you want to change some information here, you can always go to change account setup and this is how it opens up there are certain things which you cannot change they're light gray in color and the ones that you can change uh, they are in uh, dark black black color so this is the information that you can change and this is how you can put up your set uh, password is there which is masked and the path where you have to save your files is already there all the information that you supplied is there and then you do the make changes this is how you can change your password you Put the old password, validate it, and then put the new password, confirm it, and that's it. You can change your password as per your convenience. You've set up your account. The next uh, thing to follow is to add your uh, party accounts. Uh, there are certain accounts like uh, primary business accounts, uh, for example, cash, CGST, GST accounts, and many other purchases, sales, all these accounts are pre-fed. And then uh, the others that which are specific to a particular your business, uh, you have to fill up. For example, uh, these are the bank account, uh, this bank account, JS party accounts. These have been filled up already here. Uh, because I have taken the data from one of the existing businesses is using who are using this software. Uh, I have just masked the names for the sake of privacy. So these accounts you add up and introduce to the system uh, before you start up. And uh, once you have done, you also tell the system what products you deal in. This is the window where you add your product. You tell the name, its description. It should be just just make sure that the name and the description in, uh, combined. It should not be more than 20 characters, including the spaces and no special characters are allowed. You tell them the unit of measurement. You tell the HSN code, the GST rates and all those things. And that's it. You add the product here. Okay, now that you have introduced your accounts, your parties to the accounting software, you've told them what the product you are going to deal in. Uh, now is the time to start maintaining your accounts uh, and start posting journal entries. This is your button where you can post the journal entries. You can see the date. Of course, you can always uh, make backdated entries. Uh, you can go back and select any of the dates and it will be reflected here now you tell uh, for example you've withdrawn some cash so you say five thousand rupees from your bank account as soon as you put the account here the current balance uh, of that particular account is shown uh, i will come to this plus sign in a while uh, and then this is your cash account, of course, because you've withdrawn cash being cash withdrawn. You can give the narration as per your liking and just that's it. The entry is made and you can see within seconds the entry has been processed and you can always look at those entries over here. You can see this 4th May because we did change the date. The journal entry number, which a number has been uh, assigned automatically. The date is there, the 5000 rupees bank account and cash being cash withdrawn. And this is the time and the date uh, of when this entry was made. So this is how easy it is to uh, make a journal entry. Now, for example, if you have a compound entry to make, this is how you can add the account. So uh, at the most you can have 
you know, three accounts to debit and three accounts to credit. This is the compound entry. Uh, in the later versions, of course, we are adding on. Uh, the aim is to go up to five uh, debit entries and five credit entries uh, in one go. So your compound entries are taken care of. Okay, now you've just seen uh, how we are posting uh, the journal entries. After that, let's say we have to enter a purchase. Uh, uh, there is a separate button to enter purchases because from here, once you post your purchase invoices uh, in this particular form, uh, stock of, a, of the item that you've purchased gets automatically updated and the journal entry for purchase also gets uh, posted automatically here for example your uh, date of purchase invoice let's say it's of again uh, you can put a backdated entry here also let's say it was 5th july the date of uh, uh, the date of receipt is uh, let's say 6th of july the next day the supplier is uh, whoever js let's say and he supplied you cardamoms of uh, whatever quality. Now see, the uh, the available stock has come automatically of this particular item and the IGST rate applicable has come automatically so that we, uh, the accounting the person who is making the entry does not have to remember what GST rates are to be applied or whatever. So let's say the invoice says we bought 50 kgs and we received 50 kgs and the rate charged by them is let's say 2000 rupees the poop rate was also 2000 let's say and uh, if you have to add one more article you go to this uh, plus button and add that article otherwise you just simply uh, go to uh, this uh, calculate button here the two uh, one lakh rupees has come the IGST now let's say by mistake uh, the party has uh, charged you 20,000 rupees and you go to total it will the system will alert you that the IGST charged by the supplier does not match the IGST as per our calculation do you still want to proceed with this invoice you, of course you do not want to do that uh, let's say we say no and then we change this amount it should be uh, 5,000 rupees Total and now it is processing one lakh five thousand and then you give the narration in the spot. So at various places the checks and balances are already there so that the chances of mistake are minimal. So now you enter. And that's it. Uh, again, you can see whether the, the bill has been posted or not. 6th July, JS, 50 kgs, 2000 rupees. This is the one that, that we just posted. Uh, and there you go. It is telling you the date of posting as well. This is how simple it is. See, you've just uh, told the system the purchase invoice you had in your hand and uh, the stocks, the, the journal entries have already been processed automatically. I'll show you the example here in the journal entries. See this, uh, 6 July, 1 lakh, purchases account has already been debited, JS has been credited, IGST account was there, 5,000 rupees it has been debited. Uh, we did not have to do anything uh, about this this was automatically made by the system from the back end similarly now we sell we have to sell the product these are the accounting uh, invoices which were already there so the automatic the number has been generated off let's say cardamoms eight gold and then it tells you uh, 31 uh, kgs was there earlier 50 we just bought and now it is 81 uh, the date uh, again you can do the back dating if you want to let's say this is our customer just as you feed the customer here their current balance has been displayed and the transactions with that particular party uh, for the year have already are also displaying here this is because uh, uh, it is from this uh, particular amount that the system says whether the TCS is applicable or not here it was not so it has uh, automatically pushed the TCS no button the uh, unit of measurement and the GST uh, the HSN code has come automatically and let's say we sold 25 kgs we charged 2100 rupees calculate and then uh, the IGST, the CGST and the SGST rate has automatically come because the system knows that this is the local party and these are the, uh, there is no IGST on this, it is CGST and it is SGST which has to be applied. So calculate the tax and if you want to fill these, uh, let's say it's immediate dispatch through by transport, these things will appear on your invoices if you feed, if you do not then those columns will be Let's say it is X, Y, Z, F, R. These columns will be then left blank if you don't feed uh, feed them. Otherwise, they will be 
displayed in the invoice and let's say now if you want to add one more product here one more line then you can go to uh, here otherwise we are good with this this narration let's say the invoice number has come invoice number for columns sold let's say and uh, you can either go to add invoice or if you want the print to printing the invoice right away you can just go to this print invoice and this will show you a glimpse of how the invoice will look like it will show you the print preview actually there you go this is how it comes the invoice it is already a barcoded invoice you see the ABC private limited your name the party's address and everything has been generated automatically these things and there's rounding off as well if required so this is how your invoice looks like you can print it from here and if you're good you can just simply close it so the basic accounting uh, the journal entries the purchase entry the sale entry are uh, we have seen this in our next video we will see the ledger balances how we can print the ledger statements and email it to the parties we will also see the stock summary the trial balance and many other features that this software provides we will see all of those in the next video. Thank you for today. Enjoy and please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.